My perfect summer day would be taking a van with about four of the girls that I've met through this swim community and going to Dirtle Door for the day to have an ultimate picnic and just swim all day and come back sunburnt and exhausted and full and joyful. I'm Melody. I am a cold water swimmer, but I wasn't always a cold water swimmer. I used to do competitive pool swimming. I've been cold water swimming now for three years and there's something just really magical about it. On days when you're not having a good day, or you wake up, you've, run, you've woken up on the wrong side of bed, or maybe it's something bigger, maybe you're experiencing grief or depression or anxiety. It's like the salt water just takes it all away. So it wasn't like I'd never swum in the ocean before. Obviously growing up in Australia, well, and living on the coast, we always swam in the ocean, but cold water swimming was something entirely different. And it was after a period of depression and anxiety living in London actually, and I moved to Brighton just to be nearer to the sea. Um, and everyone had been telling me about the Brighton Sea Swimmers and how they swim all year. And after a few, like, a few people telling me, and I ended up getting in touch with them and saying, can I join? And, and they were full for the year, but it was just nearing winter. So they took me on just for the winter. And you had to do one swim with one of the older members. And I did it with a guy called Jasper, who I famously claimed as being in his 70s when he wasn't. So he hated that. It just didn't feel like it was a chore because he, it was like he was holding my hand through the whole thing. He was just there checking on me the whole time. And once I'd been there and done that with Jasper, I ended up joining the club and it was like coming home, was coming back to the water, but also feeling so invited into this amazing community. Since leaving Brighton, I've actually started my own community of swimmers. Um, I started Lansing Sea Swimmers as a WhatsApp group and it just blew up through lockdown and it's now about 91 members strong and I've been working recently with the sailing club so that we've got headquarters so we'll become a proper swimming club so that's really exciting. This summer I think that people will use the beach differently than they ever have before. I think there's been a real drive for people to actually get to the beach in the, in the first place. Obviously open water swimming has boomed, there's been like a 220% rise in people so there will be more people on the beach but hopefully as well there will be more people looking after the beach. Now that people are using it to kind of reinvigorate themselves in their own lives, I think that they'll take this opportunity to look after it more. I'm a zero waster and I quite often do talks about it so I've got a two litre bottle where I collected all of my household waste for an entire year. Last year I trained to swim an ice mile, then lockdown happened. This year has been such a long cold winter. It's been so hard anyway that I didn't really want to push myself. I'm going to swim to enjoy it and I'm going to swim for the community. I'm not going to swim to push myself to complete a kilometre in under five degrees. We're already suffering such hardship in our everyday lives. I don't need to make my sport harder than it is. I can just enjoy it. My perfect summer's day would be getting a group of swim friends together, going to an incredible beach destination, somewhere with really clear water and packing the ultimate picnic. I'm talking go for a long swim, feast all day, maybe have a couple of drinks, swim again and do it all over again before we pack our bags really tired to go home at the end of the day.